well, the sun is betraying me. I am in the greenhouse for the first time in a while by myself. Um, I was sick and prior to that working a lot and prior to that on vacation. So it has been a long time since I've done a garden tour, and, but we might get our first frost tomorrow. So I'm going to try to do a little bit of a before and then harvest everything that would be damaged by the frost. If we get one, keep the plants, but harvest the fruits. Um, and then if they survive, hopefully we'll get another month before we actually get our first, first frost. Uh, but it's supposed to get down to three Celsius. So there's danger of the frost. Yay. Greenhouse. We have a watermelon. Uh, I'm going to take all of the semi-ripe fruits and all of the larger shishito peppers and some cuttings from my favorite tomato plant this year. And I'm just going to let that loofah do its thing. I'm going to button up the greenhouse tonight before dinner and hope that it makes it so everything in here survives. But outside is a different story. All right, I uh, cleaned up a little bit. I don't know if you can really tell the difference and took some cuttings of my favorite tomato uh, this year, which is a black cherry tomato. Super smoky, not acidic at all, very tasty. Um, I don't know if it's just because it grew where it grew in the bed or it's the variety, but they were my favorite this year. So I'm taking cuttings of it. Uh, just taking the suckers off and rooting them in the house. So I'm going to take two more. So I'm just going to take this guy, pinch off the flowers that started, and uh, make plants for next year. That is how you can overwinter tomatoes if you want to overwinter tomatoes like a weirdo and not start them from seed. But um, yeah, if you have a plant that you really like them, that's one way to keep propagating it. Um, because, you know, sometimes it's just that one seed was the perfect. So, yeah. Uh, peppers have been harvested. Clearly, I missed a couple of these. So, every time I come in, I see I've missed some more. This is just to try to not get tomato fingers. Um, I did not have gloves on earlier, which was a mistake. Uh, because, you know, you get uh, that weird kind of waxy oil grossness on your hand. Um, I had brought gloves and then I just didn't put them on. So this is to future proof against my own chaos. Yeah, it's crazy. It's good. It's not bad for Sweden in October. This is how you know the wind was too strong. <laughs> I will fix this. It's fine. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And this is the big project for the day. Um, wrangling the pumpkins that are growing into the grass and making sure they are not gonna get run over by the lawnmower. That one clearly did. It's fine. And then we have all these little pumpkins that are on the vine that will probably get messed up because of the frost tonight. So I am going to harvest anything that's of size. That's a non-fertilized pumpkin. Um, but this one I'm just gonna harvest. Uh, the little ones, I'm gonna let them keep going and hope that they survive. The ones that are big like this, that just aren't ripe yet. And then I'll leave that one to hope it survives the night. But I've got a bunch, I think, hidden around here somewhere. I feel like they've just been all over the place. So, yeah. These are... Oh. Ha ha. That's a... That's a thing. It's... Yeah. Everybody gets at least one of those a year. Or it just gets stuck in the fence. So, yeah. I'm going to harvest all the pumpkins. I'm going to clean up the sunflowers. I've been leaving them for the birds. Gonna clean up uh, the bottom of my brassicas and get the ones that are dying. Gonna harvest this guy, even though he's little, just because I like that variety. Um, but yeah, and then I'm gonna uh, 
deal with the sunflowers that have died uh, and let the ones that are still alive keep going. But I'm going to clean these all up, uh, harvest the stalks, and yeah, not be sad about what the wind has done <laughs> to everything. Oh, it just made it very crazy and weird. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's intense back here. But there's a lot that needs to be managed, and I just haven't had time to manage it. So I'm going to manage it today and harvest the beans and some beets for dinner and just clean up the beds and harvest all of the New Zealand spinach because this is frost tender and it will not survive tonight. And we've been making uh, Italian verde sauce with it and it's delicious so I'd rather have it uh, cooked and preserved in the freezer than uh, frozen and dead in the yard. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's the plan as everything has been battered by the wind so much so that it took the roof off the chicken coop a little bit. Um, yeah, so, you know, this is a mess. This kale bed lost its mind and we never actually like ate from it and it's infested with white fly, which is not the point of having insect netting, but they're small enough to get through, see, in and out. So it doesn't help. Um, we forgot to get the pears, so the slugs got the pears. <laughs> sad cauliflower that was planted at the wrong time and made it weird um, spaghetti squash immature spaghetti squash which is fine I'll just take it in and use it like a summer squash um, this is yellow squash has been making plants all year or fruits all year and it's got a whole bunch more fruit on the way we'll see um, little dumpling oh this is a very small pumpkin but very delicious. Um, so I highly recommend the little dumpling pumpkin uh, for the flavor, but it is a lot of work to get into, but it gets very hard once it's cured. Um, and these are known as beans. So I just didn't have time to come out and harvest them between work and being sick. So I just was like, I'm just gonna let them fully mature and use them as dried beans and save them for seed for next year and plant a bunch um, on arbors in our, our new house, which, oh yeah, we also bought a house. <laughs> um, I look forward to showing you that garden next year when we get it. Um, but all of these will just be seed for next year. Um, and these are, you know, my friend Annie, her family's beans. And yeah, they're awesome. And I have a lot of them, so uh, they're definitely fully mature. Um, they're normally green. They don't turn this color until they're fully mature. Um, and then you can it just, I'm going to probably come out here with a bowl and just, and then spend the day shelling beans um, to harvest and save uh, a bunch of these grew on the neighbor's side of the fence so the smartest way for me to do this actually is to hop the fence <laughs> and collect the beans <laughs> so I'm probably going to do that rather than try to reach over and pull them through the fence um yeah there's uh I can just walk over it because it's so short so I will do that later but that's uh yeah that's future Lauren's problem and I will take care of it. But these are all frost tender. And if we do get a freeze tonight, these plants will all die and I will lose the beans. So this is why I am doing this now on my first day, feeling moderately healthy and just sad about the pears. Um, I planted this tree in 20, 17 or 2018, I think 2018. Um, and this is the first year we had like a sizable pear harvest and the kids were coming out and harvesting snacks every day and taking them to school. So it's, it was an investment, but it's a good, a good investment. Um, yeah, I'll do an after when I'm done. Okay, well, those are the beans. I think there were three plants, <laughs> uh, spaghetti squash and a little sweet dumpling, little dumpling. Um, I'll look it up. Everything has been watered, the doors are closed, the vents are closed in preparation for the frost tonight. We'll see what happens. 
Uh, this is my harvest, <laughs> which is banana pants. Um, I still need to clean a bunch up in the back garden, but this is good enough for now. Uh, some beets for dinner, all of the beans to shell, zucchini, um, so I think it's sweet dumpling or little dumpling, or sweet, yeah, whatever. Uh, delicata, spaghetti squash, honey nuts, and pears that were not attacked by the slugs. Uh, immature delicata, immature honey nut will be for dinner, and the beets. I'll figure it out. And then a bunch of New Zealand spinach. I still have a bunch more I need to harvest because there's a bunch more in there, but I don't have it in me to do it. And that's enough for my recipe. Um, so yeah, this is where we're at. And maybe I'll get the energy to do some more over there. Not gonna bank on it. And then that is the pile of garden waste that makes very happy chickens. Uh, sunflowers, kale, uh, Brussels sprout leaves, spinach, uh, I think that's all that's in there. Yeah, that's just, and like grass and weeds and stuff. But they are very happy playing with the sunflowers heads and eating what the wild boar birds did not. So, yeah, happy chickens. It's time to play every Swedish gardener's favorite October game. What survived the early first frost? We will start with the greenhouse, which I closed up in the feeble hope that everything would survive. We will see. Everything survived! I think that beet doesn't look too happy, but hey, the beet's the thing that's supposed to survive. But it is nice and toasty warm in here, and the tomatoes are lush. Nobody looks any worse for wear. I watered everything before I put it to bed last night, so that's supposed to help. And I think we're good. We're good. Even the loofah's alive. Look, he's a loofah. Um, yeah, I think we're okay. I think everything survived the frost because I closed the greenhouse yesterday. All right. It's still pretty cold. Like, I don't remember what it is, but I don't think it's more than 10. Um, chickens are happy. I need to give them their breakfast after this. The pumpkins are still alive. The pumpkins are still, the nasturtium is still alive. I think everything might be still alive. The tomatoes are still alive. The sunflowers need me to continue pruning them. But I think, I think everything's fine. I think, even though it got down to two last night, we're still good. Even the beans look okay. And now that I harvest all of them, maybe they'll set new flowers because they'll be like ah yeah I think we're good even the beans up there are happy and those are the ones I expected to be mad the most so yeah uh, my garden is strong yeah we've got zucchini flowers open like this spaghetti squash just opened another male flower Nah, we're good. I think we're good. I think. <laughs> ah, this miracle. That's so funny. Sorry, we're just gonna get a first flower, and that made me moderately amused. Uh, because it made me moderately amused. But yeah, I know. Everything seems to be pretty okay. I'll take that. And I got a bunch of harvested yesterday. So, that's good. My Dane. Yeah, we're good. I don't actually see any frost damage. So, I don't know if that's lucky or microclimate or I just have enough decaying material in the beds that they give a slight heat to them so that... Oh, good morning, Mr. B. Yeah, this is... This is good. The only downside is I was going to 
plant winter spinach where I had to remove things killed by the frost. And uh, I don't think there's any. There is a, this had cabbages, but they were all taken and there's grass. So I guess I could make a very small patch of spinach in this very shady area, which is not smart. I should just weed out the grass and cover this with mulch since uh, I think the birds ate all the cabbage starts that were in this bed. But it's fine. And we have asparagus. So it's fine. It just means there'll be space for asparagus to come up. It's kind of crazy. Okay. This uh, zucchini <laughs> root is crazy. Yeah, I just, I don't know. Everything's good. Oh, I missed one. I missed a delicata yesterday. So, yeah, we'll see. Oh, yeah. That's just like totally frozen. It feels frozen, but it, um, oh gosh, there was two. I missed two. Okay, well, we'll let three. Oh my gosh. All right. I apparently uh, needed to go further down this plant because I didn't realize there were more fruits further down this plant. But I will, um, yeah, this one doesn't have a stem, so this is going to rot fast. So I'm going to not store this and make this for dinner. Yeah, there are uh, much worse problems to have than too much food in the garden and no frost damage. All right. Delicata to go with my honey nut, my immature honey nut. But yeah, it's a heavy little pumpkin. Yeah, we're good. Thanks for watching.